Topic 3. Accessing Client Files in QuickBooks Online Accountant We're going to take a look at using the QuickBooks Online Accountant dashboard and we're also going to take a look at how the accountant's view of the file differs to the client's view of the file. So upon completion of this topic, you should be able to access client files via the QuickBooks Online Accountant dashboard, understand the client's view of their file, and understand the accountant's view of the file. So let's navigate to our QuickBooks Online Account portal. At our QuickBooks Online Accountants portal, we have our clients listed on the client dashboard. Along the left hand side are their names and by clicking on the names here, we actually go in and edit details about them. We're not accessing the file. To access the file, we click on the QuickBooks icon within the status column. We can also have a look and see what the status is of this file. So we can see from a bookkeeping point of view in Freddy's Frog's Legs, there's 20 unaccepted transactions and there's been a change to something that was done after I reconciled. And the last download from the bank feeds was the 6th of Ju June in 2017. So it gives me a very quick snapshot of where this file is at. To access a client file, I simply click on the QuickBooks icon to go into the file. Now we're going to take a look at the file first and foremost from the accountant's view. Now as a QuickBooks Online accountant user, you are provided with a little accountant's briefcase at the top of the screen here which gives you a different number of tools that are not provided to the client to use. There's also some of the positioning of things is a little bit different and you'll also notice there are some features that are not on the navigation bar which are visible within the client file. So let's take a look and compare first and foremost. So firstly I'm taking a look at North Shore Locksmith. This is a client file and we are looking at it from the client's point of view. So you'll notice in the top left hand corner there is no QuickBooks accountant icon for you to select from. You'll also notice there's no drop down list for you to move between your clients because the client is only accessing their own file. You'll notice also that when we go down the screen here in the navigation bar, there is an additional area for apps. Now the apps is only available to a company administrator user within the company file itself. This is because they must have a company administrator access to be able to connect apps. It has to be at that higher level of security to add apps. The client wants to have control of their apps not necessarily the accountant or bookkeeper adding them in when they want to add them in. They should have that discussion with the client and the client will then add the apps in themselves. So you'll notice that that is a little bit different. So let's let go across now and have a look at the view of a QuickBooks Online Accountant looking at the client's file. So as you see here, we still have the search and recent transactions. We still have our create button and we still have our settings. But over in the left hand side, we have the QuickBooks Online Accountant, which allows us to toggle between our accountant dashboard and the files. We also have our drop down list of which client we'd like to access. And when we're in the client file, when we are in the client file, I should say, when we go in here, you'll notice that we have our briefcase of tools. This is our accountant's toolbox, where we have some additional features, which will be covered in later modules, of being able to do other things within the file. You'll also notice that the app summit functionality is not appearing in our navigation bar. Now, when I return to my QuickBooks, online accountant portal, one of the other options I have is the availability of a sample file within here. Within our gear icon, I can access a sample company. This is something that is not available to the clients within their file. When they go to the gear icon, they will not see 
that sample company. They also won't see things such as resolved duplicate clients because this is on a accountant portal basis rather than the individual file. If we go within the individual file, however, you'll notice that when we do click on our gear icon, we have the same sort of settings in here that we normally see in the client file. So just be aware that if you are talking to a client over the phone and you are talking through something with them, be aware that if you're telling them to go to a certain area such as you know a, a different area and they're talking about their apps button and you don't see the apps button, this will be because there are various, various differences between the two files. So let's recap what we've covered so far in this topic. So in this topic, we've covered how we can access client files from the QuickBooks Online Accountant Dashboard. And we've looked at the accountant's view of the client file and the client's view of the client file and how there are some little differences in positioning and some of the options as an accountant that we get in our accountant's toolbox that are not available to our clients and some of the options such as adding apps that are available to our clients but they're not available to us as the accountants. So coming up in topic four, we're going to look at the accountants tools in QuickBooks Online Accountant.